all right, try doing this bond rotation exercise. So take this molecule and we're gonna rotate carbon two along the C1 to C2 axis. All right, so press pause, work on it by yourself. And then when you're ready, you got an answer, press play. All right, so let's have a closer look at this molecule. We've got C, CH3, so let's just redraw it here for a second. CH3 to C, the BR is in the front, the F is in the back, the I is up here. And if you just think it back to our steering wheel analogy, right? Think back to our steering wheel analogy where we're looking at a steering wheel from the side and this C to C3, CH3 bond is our shaft. So that's not gonna, we're rotating along our shaft. We're not changing this. And this is kind of a wedge, this is a dash, and this is in the same plane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our I 120 degrees to where the F is. Okay, so the CH3, C, the I is gonna go where the F is, and the F is a dash, so that means the I is gonna become a dash. Now the F is gonna go where the BR is. So that means that we're, where the BR was, we're now gonna have an F, and the F is gonna be a wedge. Finally, the third part of the rotation is we're gonna take the BR, and we're gonna put that where the I was. So the BR is gonna be pointing straight up, like that. All right, and that is what our bond rotation should look like. We've done a 120 degrees. Now, you, if you look at it from this perspective, we've actually rotated it clockwise. So this is a clockwise rotation, 120 degrees. Degrees. So now what happens if we do the rotation the opposite direction? Okay, so let's just, let's redraw everything and, and let's try doing this bond rotation in the opposite direction. So CH3, C, and then we have the I, the BR, and the F. Now we're gonna do the rotation in the opposite direction, so we're gonna do it counterclockwise. So we're gonna put the F where the I is. So that means that the CH3 goes here, the C. So the F, instead of being a dash, the F is gonna become a straight line, so where the I was. And the I is going to be where the BR was. So we're going to draw that I as a as a wedge here so the i becomes a wedge and then the last component here is the br goes where the f was so that br becomes a dash like that and so that is 120 degrees and that is counterclockwise so this is clockwise of course clockwise versus counterclockwise depends on what direction you're looking at it from if you look at it from if you imagine that that this is my i i'm looking at this molecule, then this would be rotation. Um, this rotation that we just did would be 120 degrees counterclockwise. This rotation we did earlier, which would be 120 degrees clockwise. So that's how you do the bond rotation for this molecule.